Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Probability and Statistics Playlist. If you haven't seen the other videos we have in this playlist, we strongly encourage you to check those out because I will be using material discussed in those other videos to prove um, things in this video. So today's topic is expectation value properties. Um, and the, for this proof, I'm going to be using continuous case. But if you want to do the discrete case, the process is almost exactly the same. So uh, I'm going to start by directing you towards these three properties up here, which were discussed in earlier videos. Um, expectation value of x is equal to x, the integral um, from negative to infinity to positive infinity, x times probability density function, uh, dx. Um, of course, a probability density function, if you integrate it from negative infinity to positive infinity, it has to equal 1 because the probability of it existing needs to happen and it needs to be one. That is the reason why you need to have that property be the case. And if you're willing to accept that, then if you have a joint probability density function, well, p of x and y, um, if you integrate dx out of that, you should just get the probability density function of y. And using that, I will be able to prove uh, these three properties up here. And without further ado, I'll start with number one. So I'm going to be using that definition of expectation value. So hopefully you're willing to accept this is the case, because we're using number one up there. We're also using a joint probability density function. Therefore, uh, this e of x plus y is equal to this. So I'm going to start by distributing and kind of rearranging terms around so things are easier to look at. And then from here, after I've uh, kind of rearranged terms to look like that, you can kind of see that if you apply that property c up there, um, you'll be able to pull out from one integral a probability density function for x and a for here and a probability density function for y by integrating with respect to here we do y, here we do x, and what you'll get is this. On here, from here, hopefully it's clear to see that if you look at that um, property a, yeah, property a, uh, then you'll be able to see that these simply are just expectation of x plus expectation of y. And thus, we've proven that expectation of parentheses x plus y is equal to expectation of x plus expectation of y. And we did that through using the properties and definitions up there. So that's a very useful um, thing to have in your belt. Uh, I'm going to move on to proving the second one. So first note that a and b are both constants. x is the only variable. So when I write this out using property a with an integral, it'll be one integral. And since x is the only variable, the only integral uh, thing we have to worry about is x and the probability density function of x. So So I've distributed um, the integral and et cetera. And you can kind of see, if a is a constant, you can pull it out, of course, because um, integration. And b is a constant, you can pull that out as well. I'm going to use the properties a and b up there. So for the first part, you can see that without a, this is just expectation value of x. So that's easy. And since we pulled out a, I'm going to have to put the constant over there. And for this one, we can pull out b. And using property b up there, um, if you take the integral negative infinity positive infinity, the um, probability density function of x, you're just going to get 1. So from this, you're going to get 1 times b, because we pulled b out of the integral. So it's just a expectation of x plus b. That's all we need to do. And I'm going to mention that you've also proven kind of two sub um, sets of this. So if you set a equal to 1, you prove that expectation value of x plus b, where b is some constant, is equal to so pretend that's a 1, expectation of x plus b. And if you set b equal to 0, you've proven that expectation value of a times x is equal to a, expectation value of x. So those are two kind of neat little things that come from that one. And this is a very important property as well. Very helpful. And so I'm going to move on to proof number 3. OK, so um, expectation of the. Uh, Expectation value of e times xy is equal to expectation value of x times expectation value of y only if x and y are independent. And when x and y are independent, there's an important property that comes along with this uh, that I will write down right now. Uh, so um, 
probability density function, joint probability density function, is equal to the separate ones multiplied if x and y are independent. That's going to be important in proving this last one. So I'll start. I'll start by writing it out with uh, property A. And then since I'm using the fact that they're independent, I've split up the joint probability density function, and I've split up the terms. So now you can very clearly see that this is equal to expectation of x multiplied by expectation of y. Uh, and this is an all, another important property to know. Uh, that is all I have for expectation value properties today. Um, these are really helpful and useful in terms of probability and statistics. You need these properties to prove variance properties, which are also very helpful. And I believe that's all I have to say. If you want to see more uh, probably in statistics videos, feel free to click up here for the playlist. If you want to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, feel free to click right here. If you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, feel free to click here. And if you're on a mobile device, there should be an I in the top corner over there. Feel free to click that for the same links. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope you learned something on statistics.